one step at a time. What's going on my dudes, One Step here with a quick video showcasing a secret tech in Mortal Kombat 1 that no one's talking about and no one's using it. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get into it. I'm gonna quickly show you what it is and then of course how to do it. I say secret because like no one really knows about it. I've asked plenty of people, they don't know about it. And out of all my fights online, a ton of fights online, I've never seen one person do it. I think one, cause it's kind of expensive and you'll see why, but in the pinch of a fight, it's gonna be super useful. So it is a punishing slash counter tech off of an uppercut most of the time you cannot you can't combo off an uppercut no matter what i do i am not gonna combo off an uppercut nobody's gonna but this new tech in mortal kombat 1 because it's new to mortal kombat 1 allows you to do so they allow you to combo off of a punish or a counter uppercut so keep that in mind it does have to be a punish or a counter you can't just like uppercut them and then do it it has to be a punish or a counter and any character can do this text so let me show you what it looks like first of all off of a punish and a jump in punish as well so first let me show you how it looks from a punish on the ground. <laughs> and then I'll show you what it looks like punishing a jump in. So after you saw them both on the ground and in the air from a punishing either on the ground, if you duck, uh, you know, let's say a punch and you uppercut them, you can then press up and R1, the block button, at the same time up or diagonally up. I prefer diagonally up because you're gonna go towards your opponent to then start a combo. And keep in mind, again, it has to be a punish or a counter. So you have to see the punish or counter icon pop up and it's not instant, meaning you don't have to instantly press up and block at the same time. Like it's not like as soon as you see the punish, press it. Like the timing is a bit weird. It's, it's a bit slower than you might thing because the game is very fast paced in general so once they're in the air that's when you press up and block at the same time you'll kind of slow down time go in the air and allow for a combo now i noticed if you do it off of the ground so let's say you do a ground punish you're not gonna go in the air long enough to do a full-on air combo or at least in raiden's case i can so i like to jump press one drop press one again and catch them before they drop to the ground then do a special into a combo of sorts here's what i mean you gotta like wait then do it and you see how you're not really in the air that long to do a full-on combo but if we just hit him once in the air then drop then i have time to do a combo from there from jump and attack you know you gotta uppercut him and then wait then do up an r1 then go in the air and do an air combo if you have time for it so like this punish up an r1 combo grab from the ground and go from there. Now, this is a really good tech that I don't think is being utilized that much right now because a lot of people aren't comfortable, you know, doing that. They don't know how to do it first of all. So hopefully this helps you out to learn how to do that. But also it's expensive. It costs two bars of your three so it's like, is it really worth doing it in the middle of a fight? Maybe not in a pinch, maybe. Or if you're going to win the game with it, then yeah, probably. But it's just a bit more expensive than you might want. It costs two full bars. So it's almost the amount that you might use for a breaker. So it's kind of like a breaker. But it's a good way to punish. And it's a good way to combo off of an uppercut. And it will be a bit tricky to get down. I'm not going to lie. It took me a little while to really get the timing down with my character. But once you get the timing down off of a jump in and a ground attack, you're going to hit it almost every single time. You're going to understand, you know, the spacing of you and your opponent to understand, okay, can I do a full on air combo or do I just have the space and time to just press one in the air, drop, and then do a combo from the ground? You'll start to really recognize that. I recommend going into practice mode and just practicing the crap out of it. Set your opponent to do a high punch and then toggle it so that way you could they come out. You uppercut, then up an R1, and you'll start to see the timing on that. You'll see the icon go, oh, and then go for it. And then just keep trying it. Hit and then try to do something and there we go. Even that right there, even that right there was 200 damage. Better than 140, right? So if I'm gonna win the game off that, yeah, two bars is probably worth it. Or if they wanna jump in from that, then go for it. And get a good amount of damage just from an uppercut, but really decide if that two bars is gonna be worth it in the moment. Again, as soon as you see the punish or counter icon pop up, wait just a second, wait for them to be in the air, then press up or you know diagonally up and block at the same time. You'll slow down time and get in the air and be able to do a combo. It's not being utilized that much right now, but I can guarantee you in the future, this is gonna be a game changer. The more and more people that you know decide to use it, it's gonna turn the tide in a lot of games and I you should probably get good at it right now rather than wait for all the be like, oh guys, new tech in Mortal Kombat. You're not gonna believe this. You heard it here first, folks. Let me know down below in the comments what do you think of this tech? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it worth the two bars? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content. Take it one step at a time.